welcome to india's channel a channel to promote education and support of india's implementation the topic of the presentation is applicability of india's let us go back to the real application of india's by issue of notification by minister of corporate affairs mca has issued a notification dated 16 february 2015 wherein it is laid down the roadmap for india's implementation in india it has been a historical change for the purpose of application of accounting standard in india because this notification has really laid down the map for ifrs adoption in india the notification talks about the class of companies to which the indias is applicable phase 1 it says that all companies whether listed or not having net worth of rupees 500 crore or more is required to apply indias to the financial year beginning on or after 1st april 2016 so the question here is that net worth and net worth the meaning is as per section 2 subsection 57 of companies act 2013 which includes paid up equity plus reserves and plus other components which are specified under companies act 2013 also the notification makes it very much clear that comparability is compulsory that means if the company is preparing first financial statement under indias as covered under the phase 1 for the financial year 2016-17 then comparative 15-16 is compulsory phase 2 talks about a situation where it says that all other companies all other listed companies irrespective of the net worth and all unlisted company having net worth of rupees 250 crore or more are required to apply indias from the financial year beginning on or after 1st april 2017 again here the comparative is must the question is that the net worth as on which date we will consider net worth definition as per companies act 2013 1 and 2 we will consider net worth as on the date of 31st march 2014 or the audited financials thereafter one more very important clarification is issued and the notification is that if any of the company is covered into the classes of net worth or listed as specified under the notification then all holding subsidiary associate or joint ventures of the companies covered into the classes specified are also required to comply with indias the phase 1 and phase 2 which are discussed about net worth and listed companies is compulsory the notification also provides you option to voluntarily adopt and any company irrespective of the compulsory requirement they can voluntarily adopt the indias from the financial year beginning on or after 1st april 2015 now let us look at situation where if any company is covered into phase 1 where the company is preparing financial statements for the period 1617 and comparative 1516 is required in that case it is compulsory that the opening balance sheet is of first april 2015 additional instructions which is issued under notification is that it is applicable to both stand alone and consolidated financial statements thereby if any company is having a subsidiary as a joint ventures then company is required to prepare indias based stand alone financial statement also consolidated financial statements one more point which is discussed here is that overseas subsidiary associated joint venture of indian company they can continue to follow the respective jurisdiction required for stand alone financial statements that means if a is a indian company and b is a foreign based subsidiary company then b foreign subsidiary company can continue to follow the respective jurisdiction of a country usa uk whatever country in the b limited situated they can follow the gap of the particular country for a stand alone financial statements 
but for conservation point of view yes b limited financials need to be converted into nds for conservation with a limited one more in point is that once you apply nds it is to be applicable forever that means even if you apply nds as a compulsory or voluntary even if there is subsequent reduction in the net worth criteria still once you apply nds then you have to continue to follow and apply nds there is a specific exemption given to the insurance company banking company and bfc which are not required to apply nds for the financials either voluntary or as per criteria but yes what about the companies with a subsidiary of the companies which are covered into the recovery of nds for the purpose of consolidated financial statements of the holding company which is covered under nds nds there is a need to convert the financials into nds requirement there are also general instructions which are required to be understood first it says that in case if there is a in there is a, like uh, 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 accounts standards are not in conformity with the law in that case the law will prevail over accounting standards second point says that nds is required to be applied only for material items with this i just end about the applicability of nds final summary points one voluntary applications can be done for the financial year 2015 16 two if the company is having a net worth of 500 crore or more first year applicable compulsory is financial year 2016 17 if the companies are having net worth of rupees 250 crore or more or if it is a listed company which is not current phase 1 then first year of applicability is financial year 2017 18 if any company is covered into the criteria then holding subsidiary associate joint ventures are also covered and competitive financials are compulsory that means if the company is going to phase 1 the opening balance sheet is required of first april 